Please subscribe, like, and share. It really helps us out. And of course, if you have any questions, comment below and we will answer you as soon as we can. Welcome to this video in our series on IGCSE Economics. In today's lesson, we will be learning about foreign exchange, our second take at this video. If you haven't seen our previous videos, click on the card above. The exchange rate is the rate at which one country's currency can be exchanged for another country's currency. Firstly, let's look at floating exchange rates. A floating exchange rate system means that the exchange rate is allowed to fluctuate according to the market forces without the intervention of the central bank or the government. How do appreciation and depreciation work? The exchange rate for any currency usually fluctuates. When the value of the currency goes up as compared to other currency it is known as appreciation. When the value of the currency falls as compared to other currency it is known as depreciation. Usually, the exchange rates are determined by the demand and supply of that currency in the international market. Demand for any country's currency on the foreign exchange market is determined by the demand for that country's exports of goods and services and by changes in foreign investment in that country. This is because when foreigners buy another country's exports of goods or services they must pay for these in the currency of the exporting country. We can see in the diagram as the demand for United States dollars from the UK increases, its price in terms of the pound goes up from 62 cents to 63 cents. In the same way supply of any country's currency on the foreign exchange market is determined by that country's imports of goods and services and by its investment in other countries. Thus when the demand for a currency rises its price goes up and it becomes costlier. Similar to before, we can see that the supply of US dollars in the market increases which forces its price down from 63 cents to 62 cents. What causes the fluctuation in currency value? Changes in the imports and exports of the country. An increase in exports of a country will lead to an increase in demand for the currency and thus the value rises. Changes in interest rate. A higher interest rate will attract more foreign investors to invest in the country and thus the demand for currency will rise, resulting in appreciation in the value of the currency. Changes in inflation rate A higher inflation rate will make the country uncompetitive in the international market. The exports will fall resulting in decreased demand for the currency and hence lower value. Rise in domestic income relative to incomes abroad this will mean the currency depreciates. Investment opportunities. If these are viewed positively, it will lead to appreciation. Speculative sentiments. Individuals and institutions invest in currency markets with the sole intention to get short-term gains. This is quite like investing in the stock exchange. Whenever a currency is going strong, people will invest more in an expectation to gain from it. This fuels the demand for that particular currency and it appreciates further. Global Trading Patterns If the country has a strong global presence in trade then the currency appreciates. Changes in Relative Inflation Rates A high inflation rate leads to exports becoming less competitive in the international market. What are the effects of exchange rate changes? Exchange rate fluctuation affects a country's inflation rate, employment, economic growth, and current account balance. Let's go through a couple of scenarios to see how. Scenario 1 Currency depreciates. A depreciation in the exchange rate should lead to a rise in demand for exports and a fall in demand for imports. The balance of payments should improve. Exports will improve, this will lead to more output, more employment will be created thus economic growth will be achieved. However, exports are a component of aggregate demand, so an increase in exports will lead to the shift of aggregate demand to the right and might also lead to inflation. The economy might also suffer from imported inflation as imports are now expensive due to the depreciation of their currency. Scenario 2, Currency Appreciates 
an appreciation of the exchange rate should lead to a fall in demand for exports and a rise in demand for imports. The balance of payments should get worse. When exports fall, the real output will fall which leads to unemployment. Economic growth is compromised, and the economy may suffer from a deflationary gap. However, in both scenarios, the volumes and the actual amount of income and expenditure will depend on the relative price elasticity of demand for imports and exports. What are the consequences of overvalued and undervalued currencies? Firstly, an overvalued currency. What are the advantages? Downward pressure on inflation. An example would be that imported goods will be cheaper. More imports can be bought. The high value of currency forces domestic producers to improve their efficiency to be more competitive in the international market. What are the disadvantages? The overvalued currency will make exports uncompetitive in the international market which will hurt the export industries. Imports are relatively cheaper to buy due to overvalued currency. Consumers will go in for more imports which will damage domestic industries. Now, let's look at an undervalued currency. What are the advantages? If a currency is undervalued, the exports will be cheaper and they will grow leading to greater employment in export industries. The undervalued currency will make imports expensive for consumers, they will divert to domestic goods and thus employment in domestic industries will increase. Disadvantages As discussed earlier an undervalued currency makes imports expensive which also leads to imported inflation. For example, all the products using imported, like components and raw material will become expensive thus affecting the general price level. How would a government intervene in the exchange rate? Firstly, a fixed exchange rate. A fixed exchange rate system refers to the case where the exchange rate is set and maintained at a level by the government irrespective of the market forces. Revaluation and devaluation. This refers to official changes in the price of a currency in a fixed exchange rate system. Devaluation is when the price of the currency is officially decreased in a fixed exchange rate system. Revaluation is the official increase in the price of the currency within a fixed exchange rate system. A managed exchange rate. A managed exchange rate occurs when there is official intervention by a government or an agency such as the central bank to determine the value of a country's exchange rate. Through such official interventions, it is possible to manage both fixed and floating exchange rates. For example, the Federal Bank may decide to enter the foreign exchange market as either a buyer or seller to stabilize any short-term fluctuation in the value of the U.S. dollar. To limit a fall in the value of the dollar, a depreciation, the Fed will buy dollars. Likewise, to prevent a rise in the value of the U.S. dollar, the central bank will sell dollars in the market. Such intervention by the central bank is known as a dirty float, or more correctly a managed float. But, as always, there are other government actions, but all have an effect. Firstly, expansionary monetary policy causes an increase in gross national product and a depreciation of the domestic currency in a floating exchange rate system in the short run. Likewise, a contractionary monetary policy causes a decrease in gross national product and an appreciation of the domestic currency in a floating exchange rate system in the short run. Next, an expansionary fiscal policy causes an increase in gross national product and an appreciation of the domestic currency in a floating exchange rate system. Again, likewise, a contractionary fiscal policy causes a decrease in gross national product and a depreciation of the domestic currency in a floating exchange rate system. In the long run, once inflation effects are included, Expansionary monetary policy in a full employment economy causes no long-term change in gross national product and a depreciation of the domestic currency in a floating exchange rate system. In the transition, the exchange rate overshoots its long-run target and gross national product rises then falls. A sterilized foreign exchange intervention will have no effect on gross national product or the exchange rate in the AA, DD model unless international investors adjust their expected future exchange rate in response. A central bank can influence the exchange rate with direct forex interventions. This is buying or selling domestic currency in exchange for foreign currency. 
To sell foreign currency and buy domestic currency, the central bank must have a stockpile of foreign currency reserves. A central bank can also influence the exchange rate with indirect open market operations. This is the buying or selling of domestic treasury bonds. These transactions work through money supply changes and their effect on interest rates. Purchases, or sales, of foreign currency on the forex will raise, or lower, the domestic money supply and cause a secondary indirect effect upon the exchange rate. Thank you for watching our video. Please like, subscribe and share. And comment below so we can clarify things for you.